Hi, welcome back to the decimals video series. This is video 3 and we're learning about how to turn decimals into fractions. Okay, method 1 is to use the place value of the final digit in our decimal to help us work out how to turn it into a fraction. Now let's just remind ourselves of the decimal places that are in decimals. The first decimal place to the right of the decimal point is the tenths column. The next one is the hundredths column. And the third decimal place after the decimal point is the thousandths column. So we can use that knowledge to help us work out how to turn a decimal into a fraction if we're careful. So the method is to use the place value of that final digit. We Step one, put the digits over the final place value and then we always have to simplify if we can. We'll see this as an example, it might be a bit clearer. We're asked to write 0.37 as a simple fraction. Now in 0.37 we might recognize that that 7, that final digit, is in the hundredths column. So that allows us to then say, well, we'll write that 37 over 100. So we're finding that 100 by checking out what column our final digit is in. Second example here, write 0.106 as a simple fraction. We're going to check out what digit, what column that uh, final digit is in. In this case it's in the thousandths column. So we're going to write that 106 over 1000 for our fraction. Now sure, 106 over 1000 is a fraction, but it's certainly not the simplest fraction we can, we can get. We notice they're both even numbers, 106 and 1000. So we do know from them both being even numbers that 2 can divide into each. So we're going to simplify that fraction by dividing the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. Whatever you divide into the top, you must divide into the bottom. And we'll get 2 dividing into 106, and it goes 53 times. And in the uh, bottom, 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. And that's the simplest fraction we can get there. So we used the final digits place value to uh, create our the bottom of our fraction in each case. OK, that's a bit tricky because we have to know which uh, column is which. So I've got a bit of a shortcut for you for method 2. And the shortcut is we put a 1 under the decimal point. We then put a 0 under every digit to the right of that and that creates our bottom number. We then do a pretty swift thing by ignoring the front zero and ignoring the decimal point and uh, then we also have to simplify. Now that's a bit of a mouthful so let's see an example and it'll, I'm hoping it'll all be clear for you. So if we're asked to write 0.61 as a simple fraction step one is to put a 1 under the decimal point and then we'll put a 0 under every other digit off to the right. Then we're going to ignore the 0 and the decimal point and you can see there that we've almost formed our fraction. All we need is a fraction line there. So we get 61 over 100. It's almost as if we've created that 100 on the bottom there just from the structure of the decimal that we started with. And it helps us because we don't have to really know what these columns are. If we've forgotten our place values for, for fractions, we can uh, this, this method creates the right bottom for the fraction almost automatically. If we're asked to write 0.502 as a simple fraction, let's have a look at the process again so we get used to it. We'll put a 1 under the decimal point, we'll put a 0 under each of the other digits to the right, and you can see we've almost created a fraction already. Let's ignore the zero and the decimal point. And you can see there that we've created 502 over 1,000. Now we have to make sure we've got the simplest fraction we can. 61 over 100 was already a simple fraction over there. But here, once again, we've got an even number on the top and bottom. So let's divide 2 into the top and 2 into the bottom. And we get 251 for the top and uh, 500 for the bottom and that's the simplest fraction we can get there. So it's an interesting little shortcut move. It helps us to uh, be able to create a fraction out of a decimal without necessarily knowing all about our place values. So just to summarize here, method 1 uses the place value of that final digit 
and we use that to create the uh, the bottom of our fraction uh, and then we simplify it if we can. Now the shortcut method we put a 1 under the decimal point, we put a 0 under every digit to the right of that and then we kind of just choose to ignore the 0 and the decimal point. It's a bit of a cheeky shortcut this one. And then we simplify if possible again. So they're the two main methods we turn decimals into fractions. I uh, hope that helps. It's a bit, uh, a bit tricky but I uh, hope you get the hang of it. Thanks for listening. See you next video.